Can sure. I taste your juice? Hey folks, P. Bissardo. Uh, so what are we going to do in this video right here? What we are going to do, this is not going to be a review video, but like I said in the uh, the boating video that we just did a little while ago, and, and by the way, on the boating video, I have said so many times that I am so appreciative of the, uh, the subscribers that I have. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for uh, liking that video, for leaving all the positive comments on that video, and for uh, expressing your desire to see more videos like that. Uh, I really, really do appreciate it. And yes, there are going to be more videos like that. So thank you guys for that. Um, so in that video, I mentioned that I wanted to get done a video introduction of the slide tank and of course the beep as well. So that's what this is. This is going to be a video introduction to the slide tank. We're going to talk about the tank, the features of the tank, and why we did the things that we did with the tank. Okay. So we're going to do that. We're also going to find out who won the last not a contest. And we are going to kick off a brand new Nauta Contest for your very own Zly Tank, so stick around for that. Now, before we get to the, uh, the Zly Tank, let me just let you know what's going on, not this coming weekend, but the following weekend, March 28th through the 29th. That is going to be Vape Event New York City. It's an international vape trade show. It's going to be held at the Brooklyn Expo Center. There's the website for you. Uh, this is going to be B2B only, as far as I, I know, but uh, Dimitri and I are both going to be there. We're going to be hanging out at the uh, Inikin booth. Uh, we'd be more than happy to show you the slide or the beep or any of the other Inikin products. So if you are there, uh, make sure you stop by and say hi. That's going to be Vape Event International Trade Show uh, next, not, not this coming weekend, but the following weekend. And March 28th through the 29th at the Brooklyn Expo Center in New York City. So hope to see you there. All right, so the slide tank, the slide tank that I have sitting on top of the, uh, the Proton right now, this is going to be a joint collaboration between myself, uh, Mr. Dimitri, the Vaping Greek, and of course, Inikin. Uh, we can kind of start off with what is it, where are you going to get it, how much is it going to cost you, but instead, and I know, I know my, my brightness level uh, changes every time Lunar Rover comes up, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on that, I'm going to change that, I'm going to fix that, don't you worry, it's on my list of things to do. Um, so, but before we get to the what is it, where you're going to get it, how much is it going to cost you, let's take a look at a, uh, a little animation video that Inikin did for the slide tank. Here you go. All right, so what is it? Where are you going to get it? How much is it going to cost you? So what this is, is a uh, replaceable coil tank, right? It's not a rebuildable. You replace the coil. It's going to use all the same Z coils that are used in the, uh, the Zenith, uh, the Zenith 22, and the upcoming Beep. So it uses those Z, the same Z coils. Um, and what we try to do is we try to address some of the, uh, the issues people had with uh, both the Zenith and even the Aries as well, uh, and and try to make as cost effective a tank as we possibly could. Now, there's a couple of misconceptions out there that this is the replacement for the Zenith tank. This is the new Zenith tank. That is absolutely not the case. Um, this is designed to sit about beside the Zenith and give you another option for a quality mouth to lung, easy to work with tank. And we do have future plans for the Zenith. Stay tuned for that. Now, there are going to be four different launch colors, okay? So there's the uh, the blue one. I've already showed you the blue one right there that has the uh, the blue swirl mouthpiece. Uh, there's going to be the black one. This is the black one right here, and it has the black and white swirl mouthpiece. There is going to be the gunmetal. That's the gunmetal right there. That comes with the uh, red and white uh, swirled mouthpiece. And then finally, there is the uh, silver one. Here is the silver one right here, and this one comes with the... Uh, the white swirled mouthpiece. Now they're only going to come in one size and one capacity. We're going to talk about why that is in just a little bit. They are 22 millimeters. They are a two mil capacity, um, but there is a global version and then there's an Italian version uh, because of some regulations that we had to adhere to uh, in Italy. And I'm just going to briefly touch on that in the video and I'll show you some of the, uh, the differences uh, on that tank versus this tank. 
the global version. So that's what it is. Now, where are you going to get it? They are starting to hit the shelves. Uh, as they hit the shelves, we let you know via um, uh, my Facebook page, Dimitri's Facebook page, and the Platform Group Facebook page. Okay, but uh, my Vapor Store seems to be the uh, the first one to have them. I'll switch over to this screen right here. Uh, we were shooting for a, um, a retail price of $24.95 uh, or 99 cents. Uh, you can see here they have them right now for $21.99. And again, as they start to become available through uh, online retailers and distributors, uh, we will let you know via my Facebook page, Dimitri's, and the, uh, the platform group as well. So like we start off all the reviews, that's what it is, uh, potentially where you're going to get it, potentially how much it's going to cost you. But now we break off a little bit. And like I said, this is a video introduction to the tank and its features uh, and why we did the things we did and not so much a review, okay? So first of all, the Zlide tank. Why is it called the Zlide tank? Z-L-I-D-E. Well, those of you who have been following along and, and, and have been talking to us at, at trade shows and stuff, uh, the, the Zlide tank was not the original name of this tank. The, the original name of the tank was the Z tank. We could not get that trademarked, right? So we had to uh, choose a different name. We had a whole bunch of other names and the name we, uh, we wound up with and the name that we could get uh, trademarked was the slide tank. Why slide tank? Uh, because this one does have a slide top fill. Okay, so slide and it uses the Z coils, therefore slide. See what we did there? All right, so what else and why did we do the things that we did? Uh, I said before that this is only going to be one size and one capacity, uh, a 22 millimeter tank. It actually flares out a little bit at the uh, the base. Uh, we'll see that in the close-ups closer to uh, 23 millimeters, but 22 millimeters and two mil capacity. Uh, again, why only one size? Why only one capacity? Uh, this tank, again, because we wanted to make this as cost effective as possible, uh, this does not have the same liquid flow control and the automatic liquid shutoff that the Zenith has, okay? And, and because of that, we've got to be careful because one of our most uh, important goals with these products is, is trouble-free use, okay? And if uh, a, a tank will flood on you when you fill it, that's not trouble-free use, or that's not a good experience. So uh, that's why we went with the smaller capacity and the smaller tank, uh, because as you increase capacity, you have more pressure of that e-liquid sitting on top of the, uh, the the ports on the coil that could potentially uh, leak or, or seep into the coil. Now that's gonna cause your gurgling and your flooding. So uh, that's really why we kept the, uh, the capacity small on this tank um, to give you a better vape experience, all right? So what you want to do with this tank when you do fill it, remove the child safety feature. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, go ahead and slide it open, fill it, and close it, and you shouldn't have any issues at all using the tank, and you shouldn't have any issues with flooding or gurgling. All right, so before we get into the other uh, close-ups, and we'll talk about using the tank, uh, I said before also that we've addressed some of the, um, the issues that people had with uh, not only the Zenith, but with the Aries as well. So what did we address with this tank? Uh, first of all, the mouthpiece riser, that piece right there. Uh, people are not a fan of that riser uh, because if they use a mouthpiece uh, th that they have, uh, some of those mouthpieces don't look good with the riser. So that's been, uh, that's been addressed. The other thing that we've heard on the Zenith tank, people want to be able to open it. Uh, they want to be able to replace the glass. They want to be able to get in there and clean the tank. Okay, so we've addressed that as well. And then finally, with the Aries, uh, people wanted to be able to get in there and replace the, uh, the silicone seal. Okay, so we've addressed that as well. And now let's get to the close-ups and take a look at the tank and its features. Okay, guys, so here's the uh, the box that this line is going to come in. Uh, it does come with the uh, the Plex 3D coil, also a 1.6 ohm coil for you. All right, so uh, we've got uh, the Dimitri's really good-looking signature on this side, uh, my really horrible signature on that side. Uh, on the back, we got some information here and also a scratch-and-sniff authenticity sticker, which I really hate the fact that we have to do that, even on a $20 tank, but uh, such is the world now. Uh, like all of the, uh, the, the uh, platform products, you're going to get this little thank you card here uh, from me and Dimitri thanking you for your purchase. And on this side... Uh, we do have the, the QR code. Now, if you shoot the uh, the QR code with your phone, it's going to take you to a bunch of uh, tutorial videos that I did for the, uh, the slide. So the first video is going to be an introduction video showing you what comes in the kit. The second video is going to be a usage video uh, talking about how to use the tank, even how to replace the, uh, the O-rings on the tank, should you need to do that, the O-rings and the seals. 
Uh, and then finally, there's a troubleshooting video. If you are having issues with the, uh, the tank, uh, maybe that troubleshooting video uh, will help out and get you out of some trouble. Now, you absolutely do not have to shoot that QR code with your phone. Should you want to see the tutorial videos, you can just go to the, uh, the Inikin website, go to the slide page, and you'll see those videos there as well. Uh, also on this card, there's going to be some coil information, uh, the coils that we offer, and some uh, wattage recommendations for those coils as well. We recommend you stay below the, uh, the recommended wattages, or you could certainly burn out your coil uh, a lot sooner. So in the box, we do get the tank itself. This is going to be the, uh, the gunmetal version. Underneath here, we're going to have this bag right here, which is going to contain uh, your spare mouthpiece, your spare glass tank section, uh, and your spare O-rings. Also, the, uh, the spare coil. Again, this is going to be the 1.6 ohm uh, with a wattage rating, also letting you know the material being used here. And then again, the coil that's already installed is going to be the 0.48 or the 0.5 ohm uh, Plex 3D coil. And then finally, you get your, uh, your manual here showing you how to fill it and how to work with the tank. Now, this bag of goodies here is not the, uh, the complete bag of goodies. This is actually a, a pre-market bag of goodies. Uh, there are going to be a couple other items in this uh, bag, including the top uh, silicone slide seal uh, and a couple extra little screws for you in case you should lose uh, those screws when you do replace the slide seal. And we'll take a look at that in just a little bit. So here is our tank. We can do some qu uh, quick measurements here for you from the, uh, the base to the top. Uh, you're looking at about um, 34.2 millimeters. Again, this is a 22 millimeter tank. If I take that measurement here, you will see that. And like I said, uh, there is a little bit of flair to the, uh, the uh, airflow controller. And you can see that's more like uh, 22.7 millimeters. All right, so let's start here on the, uh, the top. Like we said, we've uh, gotten rid of the riser. So this one does not have a riser. Uh, so you can use any mouthpiece of your choice uh, with this one. With the mouthpiece in place, with the included and installed mouthpiece in place, uh, you will not be able to open this tank. That's the child safety feature. When you remove the mouthpiece, you can go ahead and slide the tank open for filling. Now, child safety features are great if you have little ones in your life, and we do recommend that you use the included and installed mouthpiece so that that child safety feature uh, is uh, active all the time. But uh, should you not have any uh, children in your life anywhere, um, child safety features can certainly uh, get in the way, and we've acknowledged that. So if you uh, remove the installed mouthpiece and you put on uh, the spare included mouthpiece or a mouthpiece of your choice, uh, that is going to defeat the uh, child safety feature. Okay, so just uh, keep that in mind. Uh, it's not something that we recommend, uh, but it is something that is available to you should you not want to uh, use that child safety feature. Now, like I said, that uh, top silicone piece there, we can replace that on this tank and one spare will be included for you. Uh, but to do that, you are going to need a Torx T2 screwdriver to get those little, uh, those two little screws out there. Uh, one has not been included in the kit, and that is to keep the, uh, the price of the kit down as low as we possibly could. Uh, so you are going to need a T2 Torx screwdriver. Let me show you how to get those screws out and how to replace that seal. Now these screws are teeny, teeny, tiny. Be careful not to lose them when you're doing this. Uh, that is also why we've included a couple spares in the kit for you. Now, once those two screws are removed, you go ahead and slide, but you keep sliding and that's gonna remove the top piece. Now this is gonna give you access to your seal. You can go ahead and pry that out and you can go ahead and replace that. You'll notice on the bottom around the fill port, there is a little lip right there. That lip goes down. You go ahead and press it back in. Make sure it's nice and flat. Slide your top cap back on and replace your screws. So like I said, with this tank, you can also replace the glass and you can get inside this one to, uh, to clean it out. So for that, we're gonna grab the top and we're gonna unscrew the, uh, the entire top section from the tank. Okay, uh, you'll notice a couple O-rings here. This one might uh, stick to the, uh, the top cap or it might sit on top of the glass. Uh, this is one of your two tank O-rings right there. And then there's this uh, O-ring or seal right here. Uh, both of these can be replaced. Both of these are included. This is going to be your, uh, your coil shaft uh, seal right there. But once this is open, you can go ahead and clean the tank or you can take the other uh, glass out to replace it. 
So once you've replaced the glass or you've cleaned the tank, make sure you put your uh, your top O-ring back. There's another one of those O-rings down at the, uh, the bottom of the glass as well. And then just screw your top cap back into place. And when you do screw this back into place, that glass should not move at all. Uh, if it does move or if it wiggles or if it spins, uh, you probably forgot one of those O-rings. So down here at the bottom, we do have the airflow control. Now this one, if I zoom in a little bit, you can see the uh, the holes that you're exposing. Uh, there are uh, stop points. There's either a fully open point or a fully closed point. Uh, as you start to open it, you start to expose those holes. Uh, there are four holes in there. They're about 0.6 millimeters each. Um, you, so it, it, this is definitely a mouth to lung tank. Maybe with it fully open, you can kind of get a restricted uh, direct lung, but this really is designed to be a, a mouth to lung tank and you should be able to adjust this and get yourself a nice tight draw if that is something that you're interested in. Uh, or you could uh, expose more holes and have a little bit of a looser draw. The airflow control ring or the AFC ring here is removable. So you can go ahead and get under there and clean if you want to do that. There are also two O-rings in here uh, those are replaceable and there are spares included in the box. Now, if we take a look and we want to put this back together, uh, there is a little kind of a slot right there. Maybe you can see that. Uh, I'm not talking about the air slot. I'm talking about this little cutout here at the top. If you sit the air window right over the other uh, little holes that you can see right there, uh, it should go straight up. And if it doesn't go straight up, it's because you're missing the slot. So just rotate that a little bit and it should fall into place. And again, it should stop when it's fully opened and fully closed. Now to replace the coil, this is gonna have the same easy clean coil replacement system as on the Zenith. So what we do is we just unscrew uh, the airflow control. The entire base comes off now like that. And we can go ahead and take our coil out. We can go ahead and prime a new coil and put the coil back in. Uh, there's also an inner O-ring uh, seal or an inner coil seal. You can see that black O-ring on the inside. Uh, that is also included in this kit. And we're also gonna start including that O-ring in all of the other uh, Zenith kits moving forward as well. So to put your coil back in, there's really only one way this can go. You can see a couple of flat uh, spots right there on the, uh, the tank and there's a couple of flat spots on the coil. We wanna make sure that those flat spots line up. Okay, so you can see I'm putting it in right now, but it is not correctly installed until I rotate it and it falls into place like that. So once your coil's back in, we take the mount, uh, the airflow controller and we just screw it back on. Now, with the, uh, the Zenith, you can replace your coil with a full tank of e-liquid. This one's going to be a little bit different. Uh, you, you don't have to have the tank completely drained, but the e-liquid does have to be below that uh, shaft seal right there, okay? So if your e-liquid is below that, you can go ahead and pull the coil out and your e-liquid isn't going to go anywhere. But if you do have a full tank and you are above uh, that line, if you're somewhere around here with e-liquid, when you pull the coil, uh, your e-liquid is going to uh, drip out of the other uh, tank. So do make sure if you are changing your coil, make sure that that e-liquid is below that line right there. Now, as I mentioned, there are two versions of this tank. There's the global version, which you just saw, uh, and then there's also the Italian version. Now, the Italian version looks very, very similar, uh, but there are a couple of differences and things that we had to do to adhere to uh, some of their more stringent regulations over there in Italy. Uh, first of all, uh, we do have the child safety feature. We have actually have two child safety features on this one. Uh, I can go ahead and push this, nothing happens. I could take out the mouthpiece and push this and nothing happens, but... Uh, there is a little button, a little button over here on the uh, the back. And what I have to do is I have to push the button and slide the tank at the same time. And that will allow me to open up the other uh, tank to fill. Now, uh, you'll also notice here, and this is something we're actually thinking about um, doing on the global version too. Uh, there is a little seal here on the, uh, the silicone fill port. Uh, that's going to make it eh, maybe a little bit more difficult for you to get e-liquid in there. Uh, but it is something that we had to do for the Italian version to make it uh, leak proof, not that the, uh, the the global version is going to leak, uh, but leak proof even when this is open. Okay, so that's why we have to do that. Uh, that seal is going to be, uh, there's going to be a spare seal included for you, and you can still uh, remove and replace that seal uh, with those two screws on the tank. Now, also in the Italian version, to get at the coil, if I go ahead and unscrew the, uh, the airflow control, uh, nothing's going to happen until I unscrew and pull, and it's going to release. See the way it just released right there? 
Okay, once it's released, now I can unscrew the bottom airflow controller and replace my coil. Okay, so to the same kind of coil, same kind of coil, um, the flat parts where they have to be aligned and it's got to fall into place. But once that coil is in, now I can screw this, make sure that it is uh, tight like that. And then I can just take this and push it back into place. And now I can use uh, my airflow controller. Now, the, uh, the two things that we're missing on this tank that we don't have on the global version, again, because we can't, uh, number one, I can't remove uh, the airflow controller to uh, get underneath there to clean and to replace the O-rings. And uh, unfortunately, I cannot unscrew this tank uh, to uh, get in there to clean and to replace uh, the glass. So that is the differences, or those are the differences uh, between the Italian version and the, uh, the global version of the tank. So that is it, my friends. That's the slide tank. That's the features and functions of the slide tank. And that's why we did what we did with the slide tank. Again, the goal was to produce as cost-effective a tank as possible uh, with a great vape experience, a great mouth-to-lung vape, uh, also extremely easy to use, and uh, something that uses the same coils as the Zenith, as the Beep, which makes it better for you uh, as a vapor, and I think it makes it better for the vape shops as well. We hope we did that, and we hope you enjoy the slide tank. Now, let's get to the contests. All right, so for the uh, the last not a contest, it was a name that mod uh, for your very own uh, K-Fun Light 22 millimeter with all of the, uh, the spare parts and attachments and accessories for it. Uh, and this was the mod right here. And the only thing that I was looking for, because people people love, they, they love to, to give extra credit uh, information, right? But I, I, there's no extra credit, right? So all I was looking for was ZNA. If you answered ZNA, uh, you got it uh, right. You got it right, and you're in it to win it. So let's give it away, give it away, give it away now. All right, guys, so here we go. We are in random.org. It is a list randomizer, just like we always do for these contests. Uh, for this particular not a contest, 256 of you got the answer correct and entered the correct way. Let's find out who won. Good luck, everybody. The wiener is Lenny Edwards. Congratulations, Lenny Edwards. You are the big wiener. So congratulations to you, Lenny Edwards. You right there. You are the big wiener. And I, I know what you were thinking. You saw it because I noticed it too. You saw your name on the, uh, the top of that list, right? And you're like, nah, my name's already on the top. It's never going to pick me in the random. Well, it did. It did. How about that? How about that? Okay. So congratulations, Lenny. Here's what you got to do. Get an email to me at pibasardo at tasteyourjuice.com using the same email that you entered the contest in so I can verify who you are. I will get some information from you and get this out into the mail just as soon as I can. All right, so on to the, uh, the next uh, not a contest for a slide, for your very own a uh, slide tank. Uh, I think I have a couple colors left. I know I got more coming in. Well, if, if I get more, I'll, I'll give you your choice. Uh, if not, you'll get what I get. And I'll, I'll try to throw in a mod there for you to run the slide on as well. Should we do another uh, name that mod? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do another name that mod. How about this one right here? Can you name that mod? That mod right there. If you know the name of that mod uh, or that device or whatever you want to call it, is, is the name actually written on it? It kind of is. Well, there, there you go. <laughs> Um, if you know the name of this, go ahead and get an email to contest. See, it's you, you don't send the email to P. Basardo to taste your juice. There were like 10 people uh, who sent this this last night of contest. They sent to the wrong email, and I just kind of throw those away. So don't don't send the contest entries to P. Basardo to taste your juice.com. No. Uh, the contest entries go to contest. See how easy that is? Contest at tasteyourjuice.com. So if you know this mod, uh, go ahead and send an email to contest at tasteyourjuice.com in the subject line of that email. You got to put your first name, your last name, dash, the name of that mod right there, okay? And that is it. That's the uh, the end of this. Oh, I got to let you know when it goes to. So let's see, what is today's date? Uh, today is the 18th. It's a Monday. Do I let it go just till Wednesday or do I... Um, how about we let it go till the end of this week? How about that? How about Friday the 22nd is when you have to get your entries in at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? So uh, Friday the 22nd is when you have to get your entries in uh, for the slide tank, and I'll, I'll throw a couple other things in there as well. And that is it. That is the end of this video. Uh, I hope you guys found some of the information helpful. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.
Can I taste your juice? 